hi welcome back to the channel again so in this video we want to talk about how you can navigate through in b stitcher so basically the navigation is based on the 3d window so you notice a directional arrow which wherever you point and that is where the avatar moves so if you're moving upwards it's going down if you're moving downwards it's going up and if you're moving to the right it's rotating and the farther you move to the right the faster the rotation likewise the left the farther you move the faster the rotation if you're getting closer it gets a uh, slower you know yeah so basically you can also see at the top here where you find some icons if you click the front it goes to the front if you click the side it takes you to the side if you click the back the back the other way and now this one here is a custom uh, rotation or custom view where you can add your own view that you want to see now you know that this uh directional rotation can go up or down or sideways if you want to see the avatar from your own default view without looking at the left side up or down on the avatar right click on it you're going to find look at so when you click on look at you can see the avatar from any view of your choice 360 180 without having to go left or right now if you want to go back you can as well right click on the avatar and go back to navigate so still here if you want to go back to like reset the default view you can click on this reset view and it takes you back to the initial view you find your avatar when you open this teacher so here you can also find a uh, some icons navigate right navigate upwards downwards you can zoom in zoom out now another thing about navigation is if you want to undock the 3d window you can click here and you can undock the 3d window and if you click back here you can put it back in place and if you want to zoom only to uh, the 3d window without having the 2d window you can click on tab Make sure your arrow is on the window you want to zoom into and click on tab and it zooms into that window. You click on tab again, it takes you back. If you're on 2D window, you click on tab, it takes you to the full 2D window and you click on tab again, the 3D window comes back. Now, additionally, I want to tell you about the keyboard preferences where let's say you want to have keyboard shortcuts, you can actually change them to fit your own uh, save. So you go to edit, go to keyboard down here, and then you're going to find all the, these are default settings. If you click on one, it's going to give you an empty box for you to like add in your own function. So if you love the one you have, you can actually leave it there. But if you don't, you can add in your function and that is it. I can always reset it back to the default, the one that you saw when you got into this keyboard view. So yeah, you can also print this if you want to have like a hard copy on your wall by your system or by your setup you can print this here you can export it to another place and you can also import if you have so you can also find menu tools you know all those settings resources like for the resource tab for the context tab your workspace complete you know all that so yeah so if you still want to hide the 3d window or the 2d window without having to use the shortcut I showed you, the tab shortcut, you can right click on your 2D and you'll find hide 3D view. When you click on it, you can hide it. And if you want to bring it back, you can right click and say show 3D window. Likewise, the 3D window, if you want to hide the 2D window, right click on the 3D window and say maximize 3D window. It zooms into the 3D window. And if you want to bring back the 2D window, right click and say show 2D window. So yeah, that's about it for navigation. I'll see you guys in the next video.